tonight is particularly special as we mark the 10th anniversary of the Kimberley Process Certification Scheme, which South Africa chaired this year and will be handing over the reins to the People's Republic of China. Since the Kimberley Process came into force in 2003, the world has changed and continues to change at a very fast pace. The rise of new economic powers has taken interdependence to new levels. Hubs of risk related to climate change, resource issues, and global economic crisis have all become interconnected. Economic development in any social system enveloped by continued violence and social instability is just not possible. By its very nature, the global context of these underlying conditions suggests a global approach to address the complicated internal African conflict. There is a clear need for reform to account for changes in the extractive governance landscape and the dynamics of changing conditions within which the Kimberley process continues to operate and exist. We should not lose sight of the fact that natural resources are inherently beneficial. They can generate wealth and contribute to peace and development and serve as the engine for sustainable economic development. There should be an increased and relentless drive to involve structures of the African Union and the United Nations to work closer with the Kimberley process. The key to addressing these challenges will be to align the response with the core objective of the Kimberley process by ensuring that its contribution leads to peace, security, stability, and development, particularly on the African continent.